French defense, when our variation, 4.bd3dxe45.bxe4nf6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. While preparing for d5, the French defense prevents the light squared bishop in favor of a strong center and opportunities for counterattacks. The center is fully controlled by d4 and the dark squared bishop is made available. The e4 pawn is threatened by the center counterattack on d5. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and pressures the d5 pawn. Bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. Bd3 develops the bishop toward the center and supports the e4 pawn. Dx e4 captures the pawn and releases the tension in the center. Bx e4 recaptures the pawn with the bishop. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e4 bishop and controls the d5 square. The bishop is now in a secure position. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is excellent. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It's compelled. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a better way to connect rooks. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a rook. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is incorrect. Although black is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is incorrect. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. 
it is best. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the 7th rank, activating it. It is quite good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This overlooks a better way to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a mistake. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to kick a rook. It is good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a rook. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a great move. This prevents the adversary from elevating a pawn to a queen. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This steps away from the checking bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This makes a check visible. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. It is forced. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.